What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Boulder Cave. Had no idea what we are going to win in there. And now, it is finally time for us to go into this other area right here. I'm going to check it out. And yes, we are allowed to go in here. And I want to say this is another continuation of the Boulder Cave. It was just blocking us from uh, doing anything. Now, off screen, I did buy myself quite a few, uh, quite a few super repels just to get uh, get through this whole area right here. Uh, in the last episode too, we managed to capture Articuno, the legendary Ice type Pokemon. So that's another plus. And here we have the TM43, the rare candy, and uh, yeah, looks like we need a boulder for this area. Oh wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone. This place looks familiar. It does. It looks awfully familiar. Now, in our two episodes ago, we went through that uh, Safari Zone-like place, and there happened to be a secret cave of some sorts. And yeah, it, it took for us to like it. It literally takes about 500 steps to get through the whole area, and 500 steps is what we. Well, we, we couldn't do, so we're, we were going to surpass that, and uh, there was a secret cave that looked exactly like it. Now, while I was doing my research, something like this, yeah, it, 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 something in that research looked like this, so I want to say this could be a, uh, you know, this could be a shortcut of some sorts. I want to see, hold on. As you can see, we, uh, yeah, using a strain technique. And, well, let's see, where, where should I go right here? Of course, we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon. And it's because Kid Thunder is at level 41, which is great. And, well, let's see, we need a Pokemon stronger than that, so... Oh, I thought that was a little... Eh, let's go with Sunny. It has managed to become our strongest Pokemon yet again, and... Okay, so I think I know where to go. Let's see... Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see if we can get this puzzle right right here. Again, this is all new to me, guys. I've never, like I said, I've never played Pokemon Brown until, like, you know, this year. And let's see, well. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so that. Okay, so I think I know what to do right here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. They made it. They made it very hard for you to just like think right here. Uh, yeah, this is my first time ever playing the whole game, and this comes in the midst of playing or doing the summer of hacks, which we will continue, guys. And uh, well, stay tuned for stay tuned for the the newest hack games that will be coming out pretty soon right here. Or if you've already seen it, I hope you enjoyed it as I'm recording right now. As I'm currently recording, this is it's uh, August 20th or 21st, the day after my dad's birthday, and well, you know, it, it, I'm a little excited to see what, where this game goes right here. And well, we're gonna be going up against another Onyx Ray, but a level 42. And well, time to get the H out of here. And well, let's see. Now we can go through this area, and we will be battling two trainers right here. So chances are they're gonna be strong AF, so let's see. Let's see, we gotta use another repel. Let's see, repel. And let's go. How did you get the mist stone? Uh it's a secret. I don't know. It's a secret. So here we go, going up against a cool trainer, and she is coming out with an Azumarill at level 49. Good gravy. Yeah, I need to train my Pokemon. They need milk. And uh, look at that. We're gonna. Oh yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna be battling. But luckily, we got a critical hit on this guy, and she is withdrawing her Pokemon, coming out with a Scizor. That is new. Let's go to Master. And well, let's see what we got right here. Swift Attack from Scizor. And well, yeah, we're getting hit with a nice. Uh, a nice swift attack, but thankfully Scizor loses its speed as soon as a, you know, as soon as it evolves from a Scyther. One disadvantage, and well, let's see. 
And you see, here we go. We're going to be going up against another... Oh, the zoo roll right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go to... Let's go to Kid Thunder right here. Let's go with Kid Thunder. Give it a little love. And let's go straight for a Thunder Shot. And look at that. Critical hit does it again. Now, I am... I am du I am under leveled right now, but eventually my Pokemon will learn some better moves and get stronger at some point. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna have to do. And well, we're gonna be switching out our Thunder Shock for Thunder Punch. Hopefully that doesn't uh, screw us over in the in the long run. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and battle another trainer right here. So you broke the entrance bell. So what? Hmm. So there was a spell? That's kind of odd. Alright, so homeboy is coming out with Meganium, and... Well, I picked the wrong Pokemon for this one, so let's go back to Master. Yes, we are gonna have to literally train the crap out of our Pokemon right here, because this guy is going with a Light Screen attack. Let's go, Flamethrower. And... Well, because of that Light Screen, Cuts our power in half, and there we go with a body slam. Now, let's go with a fire punch right here. It is a physical attack, and that right there does the same. And here we have a poison powder, so now we're getting screwed over big time. That's right, feel the burn. Alrighty, and there's a critical hit. Master is coming through for all of us right here. And well, let's see, he's coming out with a typhlosion. Okay. So let's go with Kathy. Good old Kathy right here. Alrighty, so Kathy, you know what to do. You're 10 levels under. We're getting hit with a swift attack. And well, that was a critical hit, but here we go. Gonna be going with a swift attack right here, or a surf attack. And well, that was super effective, so here comes a quick attack right here. Come on, we're gonna finish it off with a surf. Oh yeah, these Pokemon are gonna be uh, well seasoned after this whole thing right here. So there we go, Typhlosion defeated. And uh, there goes more points for us. And here comes a Feraligator. So now it's time for us to, you know what, let's go with Kid Thunder right here. Kid Thunder. Okay. I think I can know the move that can defeat this guy. Hopefully it just hits and it does. Look at that, okay. And almost defeats for Alligator right there. And here comes a scary face attack. And, well, it is faster than us, but it hits us with another scary face. So let's go with a Thunder Punch for the win. And, well, look at this. We're getting, yeah, we're winning. And, wow, she is coming out with a Blissey. Or he, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a he. And Blissey, as you know, is a tank for HP. So you're going to need a high jump kick. Oh, a jump kick. And... Well, let's see, let's see. Come on. And there we go. That's how you do it right there. Look at that. Okay. You had a chance. So I think we... Okay, so that... I'm, I'm pretty impressed how my Pokemon are doing right now. Mainly because, you know, it's... They're at least 10 levels under. And... Yeah, they're kicking some ass right here. Okay. Now, I did get a, an escape rope just in case I I get run into trouble right here. And, well, let's see. We got a full restore. Yeah, we got nothing else. So we have to use that full restore. Okay. All right. So we're fully, we're fully healed. Let's get the heck uh, around here. Where did... Oh, wow. This is a gem? Oh, wow. Okay, so... I'm only assuming this is the 8th gym. Yo, Champion Omega, this is the hardest gym yet. I heard the leader uses ground Pokemon, so water and grass should be the best against him. Okay, alright, so... Oh, wow. What's this? So, they're not strength panels, they're actually spin panels right here. And... Oh, wow, we are... Yeah, we are in for a <laughs> we are in for a battle. Okay, so 
I gotta stock up on items, guys. I really do because uh, this is going to be bad if we're just gonna go in here with nothing else. So I'll be right back uh, for some items and all that stuff. Okay, so I'm back. Had to go through a few hurdles and all that stuff, but time to battle some Pokemon trainers right here. Because apparently it is a gym, so let's go right ahead and start battling everybody. Yes, I do have the strength to battle everybody because I was smart. I went out and got myself a few items. So here we go, going up against the Seedra, level 51. What the heck? Seriously, what the heck? Okay, so time to take care of business right here. Razor Leaf for the win. Look at this. And wow, critical hits. Nearly defeats Seedra. And apparently these guys like to they like to use their X items a lot so there we go winning and well here we go again with another Kingdra or with the Kingdra holy crap okay so this one requires a strategy and yes look at that it is um, yeah it is going super speedy and well there goes again with another agility and dying of its poison right there but we're gonna do some double damage since we can't really um can't really hurt it with any kind of grass type moves right here so there we go getting hurt with poison getting drained by seeds it got seeded it got really seeded so here we go why do you, okay so what was the point in all that i do not know look at that and more body slams and well and agility okay is agility the only move you guys have because really I'm a little disappointed right there so Kingdra has been defeated and well he ran out of gas okay I guess that's good and here we have uh, Pokemon and I are best friends that's great that's awesome so mine all right, so here we go. Tamer wants the battle. Coming out with a Nido Queen, level 53. Good gravy. We're gonna have to leech seed the crud out of this Pokemon. If anything, we need to be sp uh, strategic magic against these guys because, yeah, this, uh, yeah, we are like way behind on these levels right here. So here we go. Razor Leaf. Hopefully, it does something. And that is super effective critical hit so great okay and well another critical hit but guess what we got the seed giving us some HP back so here we go razor leaf hopefully for the win and there oh nearly defeats this guy and crud did I say I got some items to kill my Pokemon so I'm okay so let's go with Kathy right here we are close to defeating this guy right here, so let's go with a Surf, and here comes a Body Slam. And that right there, we'll seed it one more time, and uh, thank you, Venusaur, for helping us out right there. Alrighty! Alright, alright, alright! Okay. So, luckily for us... Oh, wow! <laughs> That's great. That is great. That is great. I completely forgot about the whole uh, healing or getting the re the revives. That's the one thing I forgot. Alright. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Oh wow, we got more trainers right here. There's an item up here that we can actually get, so let's go right ahead and uh, battle this guy first. And he's warring and he's trying to defeat with the fury. Okay, so let's see what we got. Black Belt wants the battle. Coming out with his hair across. And I may have, uh... Eh, no, nah, I haven't done anything. So I'm just gonna seed the guy. We're gonna get furied. And... He's gonna continue with the fury. You know, you should seed it every single time. Or you should hurt it. It should be zapped every single time it gets seeded or something like that. Or I don't know if it, when it attacks. So there we go, we got that, so let's go straight for a Poison Powder, does not affect this Pokemon, and right now we are kind of screwed because they're using an X attack right here, and we need to switch out our Pokemon right now, we need to go straight to Master, and hopefully this will actually take care of the business right here, here comes a counter, and you are getting zapped my friend, okay, so let's go with a Flamethrower attack, and nearly takes him out, and it is burned okay and that counter does not work against my Pokemon and look at that 
Oh, nearly defeats this guy. Fire punch. Let's go. Oh, gravy. Oh, gravy. Here we go. And just like that, Heracross has been defeated. Everybody's getting points. And Master has grown to level 39. And he's coming out with a mod champ. So this is going to be scary. Luckily for us, we got Ultra Psycho. We're... You know, it could learn Psychic Attack, I think. I don't know. Yes, Psychic. Oh, yes, one of the most powerful moves in the Psychic Pokemon's arsenal. And his Machamp nearly gets defeated. Oh, crud. Yeah, we're yeah we're, we're pretty much playing with a fire right here. Machamp, even though it is weak against Psychic-type Pokemon, it is very high on attack. And Ultra Psycho is very, very weak in physical defense. So that right there kind of just like, you know, it kind of screws us over, so... Yeah, and well, look at that. We found ourselves a King's Rock. We'll be able to evolve our Pokemon. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal some Pokemon right here. Actually, Sunny does not need to be healed. Alright, let's go. Halt! Who goes there? Okay, so, wow, coming out with a Machamp. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the same strategy. Poison powder, and then after that, seed it. Now, it is going for the X attack right here. This is dangerous because, uh, well, uh, yeah, because it, it is super high on attack. We were just talking about that, and it's using this, the focus energy. So it's getting double the damage right now. But we need to hit it pretty quickly right here. At least paralyze it. Nope, not paralyze it, but it's a critical hit. And this guy's messing with my my all my attacks right here. Holy crud, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and use another one. And nearly defeats this guy. And, well, he screwed himself over, okay? These guys are more focused on lowering my, di like, lowering my, uh, my stats than anything. And just like that, Sunny grows to level 45. And, uh, well, we are victorious yet again. All right. Let's go, let's go for a changer right here. Let's go with Ultra Psycho, see what happens right here. And having trouble walking in here, and I see somebody right there. Kind of want to know if it's a, oh yeah, here we go. Neato King, so it's picking the perfect Pokemon for me. Okay, alrighty, here we go, Psychic Attack. Finish him. And well, again, they're using they're using X attacks. Okay, so it looks like to me that this gym's gonna be a little easy just because they're more focused on you know boosting up their attacks, lowering our, our stats, and well look at that. Ultra Psycho grows to level 39 real quickly. Alright, so that's that, and I do not know what that is. I'm pretty sure that's the gym leader. I think, I don't know. Oh wow, we got Holy crud, we got so many people to go. Alright, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Okay, alrighty. And here we go, going up against Black Belt, and he's coming out with a Polyrath right here. So, let's see, we, we, we do have an advantage, a good advantage with the Psychic Attack, and well, luckily for us, this Pokemon is not that fast either. And... And that takes him out quickly. Okay, so type advantages. You gotta use them sometimes, guys. And he's coming out with a primate. And well, let's continue on right here with the psychic onslaught. And well, that takes care of that right there. Okay, alright. Ultra Psycho is kicking butt. And here he's coming out with a hit on top. Let's do it again. Psychic for the win. And that does it right there. Hit him on top is no more. Oh, yes. And Ultra Psycho, just like that, grows to level 40. Okay, so, yeah, we're getting stacked right here. Okay. And I do not want to battle any more Pokemon, tra Pokemon right here. So let's go for the Repel. And let's go ahead and battle this guy. My Pokemon obey me at any cost. Do they? Do they really? Okay, here we go. Tamer wants the battle, coming with his Scyther. Now, this is uh, kind of bad right here because uh, 
Huh. Alright, let's go with the psychic. Might not kill it, but it will... Uh, we'll give it a, a nice amount of damage, and well... It's going for a double team attack right here, so we're going to try our luck with Psybeam. And Scyther defeated, even though we were at a disadvantage. And well, let's see, he's coming out with a Raichu. This is going to be a tough one, so let's go straight to Sunny. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Let's go, Sunny. Alright, let's go with a Poison. We're going to Poison this Pokemon, and it didn't affect it. Try it again. There we go. Poison. Oh, crap, baskets. And go with that. We're gonna seed it. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna do that. And. Oh, yeah. It's already been seeded, so. Yeah, okay. So let's just go straight for a Razor Leaf. You know, do the combination right here. And look at that. You're poisoned, you're seeded. And, well, let's see, Razor Leaf. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Okay, all right. So that was that right there, and well, let's continue on right here. Now, th there's this guy right here. I'm looking at, I don't know what it is, but it's looking like a tough, uh, like a challenge right here. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Sunny. And who is this? I'm in black, so what? You think I'm a member of Pathetic Rocket Organization? Wrong. I'm a pallet patroller. For now, until I take over this organization myself, leaving poor Red by himself. What? He wants to get more members of different colors, but that's just like dumb dude. As for you, a mere child will never stop our plan, so you best leave. Okay, that's... That's a lot! And, well, we're taking on a Power Patrol. Looks like a Power Ranger right here. And, yo, wow, he is coming out with uh, some Pokemon. And I am at a disadvantage, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Kathy. Power Patrol. And that Roar attack was not going to work, so... Yeah, why are you using Roar? Okay, all right, look at that. The Surf attack. Okay, you're, you're literally giving me the fight. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> I really don't. And that nearly defeats this guy right here. So let's try it one more time. Yeah, these guys are letting me win. I, I just don't get it. Okay, all right. And look at that. Another victory for us. Kathy's boosted up another point, And he's coming out with a Weavile. That's easy to defeat. So let's go with Master. Now we're gonna be we're gonna speed it up just a tad bit right here. And that was a critical hit. What the heck? All right, Bruce Lee. It's gotta happen. Jump kick, agility. You messed yourself up. There we go. And that's quadruple the damage right there. Look at that quadruple damage. Eat it. And well. Coming out with a Goliath score. This is another Pokemon for Kathy. We're going to speed it up. Surf attack. And another Surf attack. And there we go again. Kathy. Growing levels like crazy. And here we have an Ombreon. So, wow, this guy has Dark type Pokemon. Okay. There we go. Critical hits. And here comes a Moonlight. So, here we go. And let's go with a Rolling Kick. Wow, it. Okay. Okay, so you know what? It's giving me an opening. There we go. Another one. And... There we go. Critical hit. Wow, this guy did not want me to win. And, well, here comes a Haunch Crow. And, well, let's go with a Thunder right here. And there we go. Haunch Crow has been defeated. Okay, so we defeated the Red Ranger, I think. And, well, Team Rocket will be mine. Screw it, throw out Pallet Red. I'll be in charge. And it looks like to me we are at the end right here. So let's go ahead and revive a Pokemon. And let's just... Uh, <laughs> 
let's just uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take care of business with this gym leader right here because this is the eighth gym leader. Draven, what? You're the gym leader here? Yes, I was once gym leader of Radiant City, Kanto. I left once Red defeated me again, like last time we fight for the league. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's Giovanni again, and it looks like we are going to fight right here because, well, you know, that's kind of how we do it right here. Now, we need to switch out our Pokemon right now, and, oh, crud, we are at a huge disadvantage. Oh, wow. We are at a huge disadvantage with levels, but we do have we do have the Pokemon. Well, we do have the type advantages and all that stuff, so we're going to be using that. And look at that. We avoid a horn drill and defeat Rhydon. And, well, he's coming out with a Crobat right here. Now, this is a Pokemon that we're going to have a little bit of an issue, so we're going to speed it up. And he's going with his guard spec, and we're going to go straight for a psychic attack right here. And that nearly defeats our opponent right here. Here comes a bite. And, well, here we go. Psybeam for the win. There goes Crobat. Okay, and then uh, look at that. Ultra Psycho grows to level 41. And he's going to be coming out with a Kangaskhan right here. Now, this Pokemon is going to be a little bit of a toughie because it is thick. Oh, wow. Defeated our Pokemon just like that. Okay, so let's go with Kid Thunder. And let's go ahead and... Wow! Holy crud! Okay! Okay, so this guy's going with a dizzy punch. Hitting me one hit KOs. And it is poisoned, and here comes a mega punch. And, well, we gotta leech seed it. There we go. And it has been seeded, so now... We're gonna have to let the good times roll right here. Kangaskhan is the type of per the type of Pokemon that we have to actually like, be strategic for because it is super thick and wow, critical hit. Here comes a guard spec, getting hurt by poison and getting se getting seated right there. So try this one more time with a Razor Leaf. Hopefully it will allow us to win right here. Come on, there goes Kangaskhan. Okay. And, well, he's coming out with a Rhymperior. Let's continue. Wow, Rhymperior? It doesn't look like Rhymperior at all. It just looks blue. It looks like a Drudagon to me. And that Razor Leaf destroys Rhymperior. Holy crud. Okay. All right. And, well, he's coming out with a Persian. Now, this is our sworn enemy. We got to be very, very strategic about this guy right here. So, the level 60 Persian right here, looking like, and there we go, another Ice Beam. This guy is lowering our defense. It's over. There goes Persian. And, well, just like that, we grow to level 40. And we defeat Giovanni. Holy crap. And he's like, you've earned the star badge in the league's acceptance. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's the hardest badge to get in the region league. You should take good care of it. Take this a little gift as well. It will do you good. And we get ourselves the TM27. This is Fissure, and it will allow you to take your po opponent's Pokemon by one hit. And after that, oh, by the way, that guy in the black was uh, rejected from the Rockets before you defeated us, and he's not quite over it. I don't accept emos. What the hell? Farewell, champion. Huh. Okay. He doesn't accept emos. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so that, that makes eight badges right there, guys, and... I don't know what else we can do. Oh yeah, we're gonna go straight to the Safari Zone-ish kind of location and take care of business right there because uh, why not? And we need to get the heck out of here. Okay, so never thought that we'd get the eight badges like that real quickly, especially with the lower level Pokemon. Now imagine what would happen when we, you know, we actually have Pokemon that, you know, can, uh, <laughs> Can, can, can stand up to them in the right level because all my Pokemon are yeah they're lower leveled right here shoot 
Okay, so time to get the heck out of here, and... Oh, there's a Marowak. It's just a Marowak. Alright. Let's see. Let's go right... Oh yeah, we are out, and we are about, and... Well, rumor has it the Mist Stone can break barriers. Okay! So, that is that for this episode, guys. Uh, look at that. We have... Wow, we have seven badges. Thought that was the eighth badge. Okay, so we got one more badge to go. We need to get the we need to get that before we get to the region league. And then uh yeah. Everything else will come into place, but in the next episode, we are gonna get ourselves a legendary Pokemon with the cheat right here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.